AT&T Dynamic Exchange makes it easy to share a connection when using AT&T Virtual Private Network. We'll show you how to order and set up an AT&T Dynamic Exchange or ADX connection. Are you working on a project with another company or organization? See if they're interested in sharing data with an AT&T Dynamic Exchange connection. Here's how it works. The company you contacted about sharing the connection is called the host. They'll start the AT&T Dynamic Exchange order process by choosing the port and agreeing to pay a monthly enablement fee. You're the client. You'll complete the connection and agree to pay a monthly enablement fee and an AT&T Dynamic Exchange connectivity link fee. Whether you're the host or the client, this video is for you. The host will need the client company ID, so be sure to give it to them ahead of time. To find your company ID, log into Business Center and select Profile at the top right. Then select your company name. The company ID is a nine-digit number. If you're the host, begin the ordering process in Business Center from the Manage page for the port you want to share. Select Actions and Authorize ADX Connection. The circuit associated with the port is chosen by default. Select Continue. Next, configure the connection. Select the bandwidth and enter the virtual LAN ID or VLAN ID. Read and accept the terms and conditions and select Continue. Enter a promotional code if you have it. Next, review the charges and select Continue. Then, you'll generate a secure authorization key for the client. Enter the client's company ID, select their email address, and the length of time that the authorization key will be available. You can add a personal message that's included in the client email. To easily identify the connection, give it a name or alias. A connection confirmation page appears. Now it's the client's turn. If you're the client, you'll receive an email with a link to set up your AT&T Dynamic Exchange connection. Select the link, and then select Set Up Connection. Next, select the VPN to connect to the host's port. Choose the circuit or circuits to connect to the VPN, and select Continue. Choose the place of primary use for this connection. The AT&T Dynamic Exchange circuit you select here will appear on the bill as a monthly AT&T Dynamic Exchange connectivity link fee. Note that all AT&T Dynamic Exchange enabled ports will appear on the bill with a monthly enablement charge. We'll leave the default selection. Complete the connection by entering the IPv4 data. Next, expand class of service and choose the class of service or COS type. Then enter or search for a supported profile. Select review order and enter a promotional code if you have it. Review your order details and charges. Finally, review and accept the terms and conditions and submit your order. Your order is confirmed. You can now start sharing data with your AT&T Dynamic Exchange connection. Want to learn more? Check the Business Center help pages for more videos and step-by-step -step help.